Hey, Mr. Sears, Mike here. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick video of the home. I just got to the house. Um, it looks very well taken care of inside and the lady, the tenant is very nice. Um, she says that she has already found a place and she's going to be start moving uh, out on the 21st this Friday. Um, she says she will be out because she's paid through July. Um, she'll be out at the end of July, but it looks like DKD is trying to uh, charge her an additional seven days into August. Um, but she says, you know, I don't know why I need to pay that if I'm gonna be out by the 31st of July, why do I need to pay seven days? So, you know, I think she's, she's gonna kinda have to fight that with DKD. Um, I told her that maybe you could put in a word for her if possible that, um, you know, why are they charging her the seven days? They told her that um, they want her to give at least 30 day notice, I guess, is what they told her. But she says, you know, I'm going to just move out now and um, they're trying to charge her those days. So we'll see what we can do to help her out with that. But I wanted to give you a quick video of the home. Let me turn the around and here's the home. Okay. So it, it looks pretty good. Um, I do see like a little bit of like grass and stuff here, weeds uh, here and on the parkway here. Um, I noticed this garage door, it looks like the sun has baked it. I don't know if you can tell from this video, but um, it looks pretty bad. You can see the blotches on there and whatnot. It looks like somebody uh, ran their fingers right through here and then they, they kind of were spelling something here. And then you have like this here. Um, this can be painted. Oh wow, look at that, it just, come, it just came off just like that, just rubbing it. So yeah, this, it would probably be best if we could get it painted again. Um, I would kind of go with something like that chocolate color over there. Um, something that really like pops and whatnot. I can get an estimate to see if, if we can do that, but I think it's gonna help for the overall curb appeal of the home. Um, it shouldn't be too expensive. I'm noticing, of course, like some cracks here on the stucco. So those are things that we need to be mindful of when the, we get it under contract. A buyer's going to have his uh, home inspection of the home, and that'll be noted. Um, probably going to ask for repairs on that. That's not a big deal either. Um, stucco repair is very common in El Paso. You know, with, with most homes um, here it looks good I think we just need a good cleanup here uh, yard cleanup um, I also have you know all sorts of contractors so I can help out with that or unless you know somebody here we can do that too um, the front yard looks pretty good okay I'm noticing a little bit more cracking here on the bottom I'm noticing up here on this ridge this little edge here is, is cracked and then you've got some staining all along the wall. Um, we have some peeling paint up there. Okay, if you can see that, it's peeling up there. So we should probably try to get at least this whole piece, which is a small piece, um, painted. Again, I can probably get that stucco guy to do that. Um, he can do, you know, he's a one-stop shop, pretty much does everything. Um, the front door looks good. It's a little faded here at the bottom, again, from the sun, but maybe we can like pressure wash that or just wash it off. Um, continuing around the home, I see a lot of staining right here, yellow stain, water stains. Um, I don't think we can do anything about that. Here underneath the eave of the window, you can see the cracking. Now these aren't deal breakers, but definitely, you know, it just gives the buyer um, um, a ammo to negotiate repairs, okay? So there's a lot of ways we can negotiate that. Um, let's go ahead and go on inside the house. Okay. 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 And... So here we have uh, the home. It looks very nice, very well uh, clean, kept clean. Okay, the walls and the paint look good. Um, okay. I don't, I don't see any um, staining or anything like that. Everything looks to be in good, good condition. 
I'm really familiar with this floor plan. I've sold quite a few of these in my time. And then, ¿puedo pasar? Sí. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> And then we have um, the air filter. We should probably get that changed out because it does look a little dirty and we don't definitely want the machine struggling like that. I see a little bit of, uh, I don't know if you can see right here. It looks like there's some um, paint got wet there and it's sagging. I'm not sure what that's about, but that'll be captured. You know, things like this will be captured on the home inspection report by the buyer. And like I said, they'll try to negotiate uh, repairs um, but there's different ways that we can negotiate that. Um, La lavadora y sacadora son de usted? No, okay. Oh, okay. She says that, yeah, these um, these will stay here, of course. Puedo que uh -huh. eso y esto que tiene aquí, uh -huh. ya lo arreglaron. Oh, ya yeah. Vino un rufero. Uh -huh. Y en la cochera también está así como la pintura, como una gotera. Ajá, uh -huh, como una gotera. Y eso ya, ya lo vinieron a, a arreglar. Okay. Supone que. Pero parece que todavía... So she says that um, DKD did come out to to fix uh, the drywall here, which we can see is still, um, you know, it's cracking here. The tape has cracked here, and then of course up there as well. There's also some stuff in the garage that she said. So I want to check that out. Podemos pasar por la garage? Sí. Okay. Oh no, no, no se preocupe. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Ah, okay. Wow. Okay. So she's saying that they did fix the leak on the roof, but they just never, you know, paid attention or, or fixed this here. This I can see is already black. It looks like some mold. So I think we need to take a, you know, a bottle of Clorox to that and kill that and then just have that redone. Um, it starts up there as well. You can see there's a bubble on the ceiling right there and then up against the edge here. So it did take on some water. These are items that we definitely need to take care of before we put it on the market because we don't want a buyer to come out and say, oh, well, I want a whole new roof. It needs a whole new roof when it really doesn't. But that's like, a, you know, that would probably scare them a little bit. Um, then we have a little bit of roof uh, ceiling damage up there. Okay. okay. And then we have, it looks like that was probably the back door. Um, and then let's take a look at the mechanicals. Everything looks good in here very well. Okay. Yeah, so other than those little ceiling uh, issues, um, the garage looks good. Okay, we continue. And then as we come in through here, we'll check out the first bedroom. The carpets look good. They probably just need to be cleaned, but I think we can get DKD uh, to clean those if that's part of their move out process. Okay. Um, I don't see any ceiling stains on here, but there are a lot of little decorations that they put on here, tape. It looks like some tape or something. Um, okay, but it looks good here. And then as we come into the bathroom, Everything's looking good in here. I don't see any ceiling stains or anything. Uh, shower looks good. Uh, looks really good, yeah. Okay. And then we have this second bedroom here. Okay. Uh, again, no ceiling stains or anything. Looks good. The carpets look like in good shape. A little bit of darkness right here and over there. I think that's just the traffic uh, areas where they walk a lot okay. and as we go back here uh, again a little bit of darkness I can I can uh, see right here okay so yeah we definitely need some some of the carpet cleaning um, okay nothing in this room that I see um, oh wow and I guess the water deal is connected in here never seen that um so we go into the bathroom looks really good okay no issues in here and 
no issues in here. Okay. All right. Looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna try to get to the backyard, but I know there's dogs in there. So let's see what we can do. Puedo pasar por atrás? Sí. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. I noticed you have the surround sound speakers. Um, hi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's come up here. Yeah. So we just need a little cleaning in here. Uh, looks good. I don't see that really any paint but I do see a little bit of the tape is coming off right there okay and a little bit right there um, okay all right and this looks good looks all good right here Yeah, I think we just need to just kind of get this raked up and, and trimmed down a little bit. Um, make it look good and then it'll be okay. Let's see. I don't see any other issues. A little bit of stuff right there. Yeah, I, I, I think I, I would be comfortable listing it at, at 2.30 as long as we can get these... Um, repairs um, made before we even throw it on the market um, but I, I think we should be okay with uh, 230 that house on the corner of this street is the same exact uh, duplicate of your home here and uh, it is under contract after 17 days um, this back door it would be nice if we could get it painted because it has you know it looks real dirty I, I know you can't tell really on the uh, on videos but it looks real dirty. Um, you got, you know, some chipping paint here and here. So if we could just probably, I could get my guy to just paint this and clean it up real nice, make it look really presentable. Um, not sure what happened here. Not, um, then I, th I think we'd be okay. And then of course, just some, some yard work, basic yard work to be done. So, okay. So I hope this video helps. Yeah, I'm super interested in, in, in helping you sell the home. I think it will sell. It is the, the uh, home selling season right now. Um, 230 is definitely doable. We just have to hope that it appraises. Um, but hopefully by the time we put this house on the market and we're under contract, that other house that just went on contract will already be closed and we can use that one as a sold comparable. Okay, thanks a lot.